Mm -hmm. but a conscious decision by Tory MPs mm -hmm. not to give the membership in the country the choice of an outsider. Right or wrong? Uh, very disappointing, I think. Uh, I think I said last time I was in the studio a couple of weeks ago that I was uh, supporting Kemi Badenoch and I would love to have seen her in the final two because I do think that she would have brought to this contest uh, a more of a radical rethink about what conservatism really is at this point um, and what it should be and what the, what the party should really yeah. be. Uh, taking forward now that it's coming through those kind of vicious infighting over the whole um, Brexit period. I feel as though uh, Boris Johnson was both selected and elected as the prime minister who was going to bring Brexit through. And then he was left with this sort of policy vacuum. What was he going to do with it? And I'm really not clear from any of the candidates yet. Yeah. That they Let have me bring Trevor that. in at that point then, because Trevor, you and I, uh, both uh, covered those periods where Margaret Thatcher did an absolutely profound and fundamental rethink and then gave her party over a decade in power. And to be fair, after the clause for a moment, Tony Blair did the same with the Labour Party, a fundamental rethink, and that resulted in 10 years. Have the Tory MPs missed a trick here? Well, I think that uh, the, the, the point about Margaret Thatcher is that she was both a tax raiser and a tax cutter, and she didn't do one until it was safe to, to do... She didn't do the second until it was safe to do so. And this is the problem with the tax promises, I think, of both of the two final candidates. One is uh, adamantly against tax cuts, and the other one is enthusiastically for them. And the trouble is there are good tax cuts and bad tax cuts. You want a tax cut which is going to boost the economy and you don't want to just hand money out in an inflationary way as i think liz trusses will do interestingly uh, trevor in in the uh, mail today they've done a two-page spread on what a whole range of economists think about it and that's precisely the point uh, that my gb news friend liam halligan makes is that Tax cuts generally may have that effect, but if you choose the right ones, the cost of living ones, uh, it could have an impact. But let me just get confirmation from you, if I may, or contradiction. Uh, as I said in that introduction, if you look at the genuine history of what Margaret Thatcher, their great heroine, did, she didn't cut taxes until she'd controlled inflation. Those big tax cuts didn't come until the mid to late 80s. That's exactly right. And of course, she had some very heavyweight uh, uh, cabinet colleagues alongside her in those early days. Geoffrey Howe, to his credit, was a very strong chancellor. And then he was followed by Nigel Lawson. That's an incredible uh, combination of talent and expertise working at the centre. And I don't think we're matching that today. Rishi Sunak is a technocrat and a, I think a very, very bright man indeed. And I think his heart is in the right place. But I don't think that he is anything but uh, a Treasury cipher on this. And uh, I do worry about that uh, because, as Boris said, the Treasury isn't always right and on the big ones has frequently got it badly wrong. As for Liz Truss, I think that what she's doing is trying to compensate for those national insurance increases. But that money has already been taken and the government is dishing out compensatory sort of payments in universal benefits and other things you're just piling a lot of money out into taxpayers' pockets, which will lead to inflation. I think they're both wrong. They should be cutting corporation tax, which is obviously unpopular with the sort of Labour Party side or the left, but would help to get the economy up and running and beginning to deliver the, the, the fruits of uh, prosperity that will lead to tax cuts in the future. Joanne, you sat at the pounding heart of government uh, in a number 10 uh uh, function and, and therefore would know intimately how the Treasury works. Liz was number two in the Treasury, Chief Secretary, um, uh, whereas Rishi, as, as Trevor was just reminding us, was obviously Chancellor of the Exchequer. In your objective view, and as a Tory, ha is Liz onto something where she says, I reject the economic orthodoxy, which Trevor just did as well, or bluntly speaking, is that vote-seeking naivety? No, I do think she's onto something with this. I think the most interesting thing about her agenda, actually, is that she's talking about reviewing the mandate for the Bank of England. And it seems to me um, that in both of these candidates wrapping themselves in the colours of Margaret Thatcher, which they're obviously trying to do during this early stage 
of the campaign because they have to appeal to the party members. Mm. I mean, beyond the party members, I'm not sure that that's necessarily a selling point. But Margaret Thatcher was uh, a monetarist. And we have dispatched monetary policy to the Bank of England. And that's, I think, what she's getting at with this idea about challenging the orthodoxy. Yeah. It's essentially saying we need to take back some control, to use that yeah. phrase again. Politicians need to take back some control of the, uh, of the economic cycle. Um, and that seems to me to be particularly important, given where we are with yeah. inflation. What? 